In a few hours, day two of the Republican National Convention gets underway in Cleveland. That's where we find News 2's Alex Schumann live inside the Quicken Loans Arena. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Octavia and Brad. Well, right now, things at Quicken Loans Arena are fairly quiet. Things are starting to pick up a little bit. People cleaning up from last night and also getting ready for what's expected to be a very busy day. And how this works is each day has its own theme. Today, it's about the economy. The official name for the theme is America, Make America Work Again. And some of the video that you're going to be seeing throughout the day and also just and probably until the end of this campaign is of Donald Trump walking out on stage last night making the rare decision for a likely nominee to come out and speak on the first night of a convention. And he only talked for about five minutes to introduce his wife, Melania Trump. And for now, it doesn't appear that he's going to be in Cleveland tonight. Who will be speaking are two Republicans who ran against him in the primary, Dr. Ben Carson and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Also, two of Trump's children are going to be speaking today. Now, we did ask Dr. Carson what he wants to talk about tonight. He said he wants to share his view of what America stands for and also his strong belief that Republican policies will make the economy stronger and help, the, including help minorities and low-income families. I think the Republican Party uh, has not done a good job of communicating uh, with the African American community and some of the other minority communities, uh, even though their policies are probably much better in terms of helping those individuals. And, and that's something that's going to change. And it's not just going to be busy and loud inside the arena. It's expected to be an estimated 5,000 protesters out and around the arena and in downtown Cleveland at different times throughout the day. It is definitely setting up to be another very exciting day at the Republican National Convention. Brad and Octavia. Alex, policy, the important stuff, but the sideshow certainly taking uh, center stage and all of the accusations out there about Melania Trump plagiarizing part of her speech last night. Anything new from the campaign on that? Well, right now, the campaign, they did release a statement this morning, but they do not directly deal with those charges at all that Melania Trump lifted some language from a 2008 Democratic convention speech from Michelle Obama. Right now, the campaign simply said they thought it was a beautiful speech and that even though those lines do match the 2008 speech essentially verbatim, that they reflect the, that the speech reflected Melania's own thoughts and ideas. Brad. All right, there you go. Thank you, Alex. Coming up on today.